Ya no vino. You are mute, teacher. I had a power outage, so I'm sorry. Okay? Okay. Okay, very yeah. good. Now, let's continue. Let's see. Okay, so we have questions with used to. Now... Let's see, okay. Now, this is a mix. So here we have affirmative and negative statements, okay? So what will be number one? What do you think is number one? Let's see, uh, who was next? Let me see, Antonio. What is number yes. one? I used to live in a flat when I was a child. I used to live in a flat when I was a child. Okay, number two, eh, Maria Reyes. Hola. Number two, what is number we, two? It's a question. Yeah. Did we, question. okay, did we uh, used to go to the beach every summer? We use, did we used to go to the beach every summer. Very good. Guadalupe, what is number three? She used to love eating chocolate, but now she hates it. She hates it. Okay, very good. Obdulio, what is number four? Is negative. He, he didn't use to smoke. He didn't use to smoke. Very good. Okay, let's see. Antonio, what is the next one? Number five. Hello, Antonio. Are you there, Antonio? Brenda, what is number five, Brenda? I I used to play tennis when I was at school. At school, very good. Cindy, what is the next one, Cindy? She used to be able to speak French, but she has forgotten it all. She has forgotten it all. Okay, very good. Uh, Ivan, what is number seven? Number seven is he used to play golf every weekend. He used to play golf every weekend. Lily, number eight. Um, they both used to have short hair. They both used to have short hair. Very good. Uh, Linda, what is number nine? Um, Julie used to study Portuguese. Uh -huh. Julie used to study Portuguese. And Mario, the last one. I didn't used to hate the school. Okay, so that means that you used to love school. Okay, very yeah. good. And and take a look. This is what we have seen so far today. Okay. Uh, okay. A statements with used to. In the affirmative, we use used. In the past, plus two plus infinitive. In the negative, we use didn't use in the base form plus two plus infinitive. And in questions, we use did plus subject plus used to in the base form. And remember, when we use used to is because we are talking about something that we did in the past, but we don't do anymore. Or something that we don't, didn't do in the past, but now we do it. Is that clear? Clear. That's teacher. clear. Yes. Okay, very good. So uh, with this, we finished 
section number one. Okay? With this, we finish section number one. So you can go to the platform and finish. Okay. As you can see, there are people that haven't started working on the platform. So you have to work on the platform. I've been watching you here. Okay. So that is section one, homework one. Okay. Homework two, three, four, and etc. Okay. But let me show you. Okay. So you are able, now you are able to do Please, I want you to go ahead and do section number one, okay? So remember, past tense, we already checked, okay? So you can do the knowledge check, 1.2, okay? Okay, now simple past statements would be, huh? We can see the platform. Ah, okay, I'm sorry. Now? No. Yeah. Okay, so you see, uh, uh, you can do a knowledge check 1.2, which is about the past tense. Now, a 1.5 knowledge check, which is about the simple past statements would be. Then 1.8 is about the simple past questions with the verb be. Okay, and 1.11 is about the statements with used to. And 1.13 is about questions with used to. So now you can use, you can do all section one, okay? So please, okay. I want you to go and start doing all the knowledge checks for section number one, okay? Teacher. Yes, sir. I already, I, uh, I already finished uh, the section okay. one and, and section two. And section two. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Congratulations. Now, we are going to see a little bit about section two. Okay. Let me get that. Let me get that. Here. Okay. I'm going to close this. And a... Uh, Okay, so as you can see, we have to do week one. The minimum advance expected is in week one and in week two, sections one, two, and three. So now you can finish section one. Okay, so we, are, we will have only pending section two and three. And then we have to do the midterm. Okay, very good. Now, I have section number two. Can you see it? Yes. 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 Okay. Now, in this section, we are going to be talking about count and non-count nouns. Quantity, many, much, and a lot of. Many used with plural count nouns. Okay. For example, for example Tommy has many pets. We have many friends. Much we use with non-count noun. There isn't much snow here in the winter. How much time did it take to finish the work? So, and a lot of, we use both count and non-counts with a lot of. A new car can cost a lot of money. I wrapped a lot of gift for my family. Is that clear? Hello? Yes? Yes. 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 yes? yes. What is the objective? Yes, what teacher. is the objective? Learn how to describe problems in English using count and non-count nouns. By the end of this class, you'll learn how to describe problems in a city using phrases like too many, too much, less, fewer, enough, and more. You'll also learn about common non-count nouns, including water, oxygen, 
English, traffic, meal, soccer, sunshine, etc. And understand how to tell if a known if a noun is count or non count. An English oral comprehension audio exercise is included in this, in the video, in the video, okay? So here, count noun definition. A count noun is a noun that has a plural form. A non-count noun is a noun that does not have a plural form. So count noun have plurals, non-count, no plural. What is the difference between count and non-count nouns? What is a count noun? A count noun is a person, place, or thing that can have a singular or plural form. Most nouns have a singular and plural form. Typically, by adding S to a noun, the plural form is made. A count, an account noun can be counted. Girl, girls. Town, towns. Banana, bananas. So basically, a count noun is a noun that you can count. For example, books. Can you count books? Yes. Yes, one, two, three books. Can you count cars? Yes. 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 Can you count students? Yes. 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 Can you count uh, cell phones? Yes. yes. Okay. So those are count nouns. Now, non-count nouns and mass nouns is the same. Non-count nouns and a mass noun is the same. A noun count, a non-count noun is a person, place, or thing that do not have a plural form. In a sense, a non-count noun cannot be counted. For example, courage. Do you know what is the meaning of courage? Yeah. Music. Can you count the music? No. No. Okay. Can you count the weather? No. Can you count frustration? No. Okay. So very good, we have that clear. Now let's go to the next one. Example of count nouns. Count nouns, sometimes called countable nouns, have both singular and plural forms. For example, friend, friends. Museum, museums. Museum. Rock, rocks. Office, offices. However, some exception except Okay, exists to the rule of adding an S. These are called irregular plural. The singular is child. The plural? Children. children. City, the plural? Serious. Daisy, the plural? Daisies. Okay? An example of non count nouns. Information. Okay, apps. Abstractions, non-count nouns, information, bravery, independence. So those are nouns that you cannot count. Activities, running, music, work. So you cannot count these activities. Food, turkey, lasagna, butter. You cannot count. Now you can use a quantifier and you can say, a bar of butter or a pound of butter. But if I give you like this, if I give you butter, how much is it? We don't know. Uh, gases, steam, oxygen, smoke. Group of similar items, furniture, equipment, luggage, and liquids. Okay. Now, remember, go and finish section number one tonight, tonight, please. Okay? We're going to have to stop because it's already nine o'clock. Okay? Okay. Thank teacher. you for, for being here, and I will see you tomorrow night. Okay? We'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night, teacher. Okay, you too. Have a good night. Have a good night. Good night. Okay. Good night. Enjoy it. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. See ya.
Okay. Send your presentation, teacher. I will send presentation number two. Okay. I will send it. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. And remember, okay. have it ready. Okay. <laughs>